All right, Curious Minds, so we are on a mission this afternoon. We have to find some Laceous brood for our Laceous social parasite colony. We were successful in getting them set up, but now we need to get some more brood to boost that colony so that the queen could get her ovaries going and start laying eggs of her own species. So we boosted that social parasite queen with about 45 workers last fall, and they're starting to die off just because of the natural uh, life cycle, we need to go and get more brood today to boost that colony up so that there's enough workers to take care of the eggs that that queen's going to start laying this spring. So when I'm looking for ant brood, I'm generally looking for rocks that are not too deeply embedded in the soil and are also relatively flat. Uh, we also want to make sure that we're flipping rocks that are, get some sort of sunlight during the day. So these ones right here alongside the trail look like great candidates, but this one could be the ticket. It's nice and flat. It's pretty dark, so it's going to heat up in the sun, and it's not deeply embedded in the soil. So there's a good chance there's a nice ant colony under here, and with any luck, it's going to be Laceous. So this is a Laceous colony. They have some brood here that we're going to go ahead and collect. What I'm doing here is actually collecting a couple of workers that will help take care of the brood before it's introduced to our social parasite colony. All right, we are all set. We've got some brood and some workers, and uh, this is exactly what we were looking for on today's mission. Now that we've collected some Laceous workers and some larvae, we need to take them back to the lab. Because larvae actually require quite a bit of food resources, they're not good for brood boosting small colonies. What I'm actually going to do is place these larvae and the workers into their own formicarium, and over the next week or so, the larvae will begin to pupate. Once the larvae are pupae, then we'll transfer them to the social parasite colony. It's been a few days since we collected those larvae and they've just started to pupate and spin cocoons. This is good because we've lost two workers already in the social parasite colonies. We've got to get these cocoons put in with them. Things are looking up for our Lacia social parasitic colony. We've transferred over a couple of cocoons and when they hatch, those workers should be able to get the queen through the summer so she can start laying eggs and fully establish her colony.